Well, I'm very, very saddened to hear of this tragedy in the Channel today, um, waking up to the news that um, I fear, as the MP for Dover and Deal, day after day, uh, lives lost, uh, a number saved only, 43 saved only, uh, due to the bravery and professionalism of the rescue services that operate out of Dover and along our East Kent coast. And I have, uh, I have to, you know, pay tribute to their bravery and thank them for their rescue mission this morning in absolutely treacherous wintry conditions. It must have been a, a horrific call out at, at, at three o'clock, mustn't it? Um, in, in terms of what the solution is, what would you like to see the government do? Well, as I've said now uh, time and again, it is a matter of great urgency that the boats are stopped entering the water from France. Uh, people are safe in France. Uh, this is illegal criminality, organised crime through and through. That number of people crossing now uh, very near to 45,000 people. That's the result of industrial illegal immigration by organised criminal gangs operating on the shores of France. It is urgent that the Prime Minister, who is taking personal responsibility for this issue, has a summit with President Macron and that action is taken to bring this to an end before we have further loss of life in the Channel. We spoke to Claire Mosley from the Care for Calais charity just a moment ago. Uh, she said one way, way to get the boats to not go in the water in France would be to set up a centre in northern France and offer safe passage to those who, who believe that they have a strong claim. Would that not be a solution? Unfortunately, organisations like Care for Calais are part of the problem, not the solution, in dealing with the channel crossings. Care for Calais is one of the organisations that's taking legal action against the government and is not, I think, really looking out for those solutions that would be in the best interests of people who are in the hands of these criminal gangs and often also in crime here in the UK once they are smuggled in and involved in modern slavery. Um, we've got to, you know, really be clear that those organisations are blocking the attempts of the government to be trying to bring an end to the small boats crossings. Um, it is vital that they really look at the interests of people in the hands of criminal gangs, encourage them not to take these journeys that are so dangerous and do result, uh, unfortunately and sadly, in loss of life. Encourage people instead to ask France for refugee assistance if they are in need of it or any other country before they reach France, who is party to the same refugee uh, conventions, and also to make it really, really clear that the majority of people who have been travelling by the small boats arriving in Britain in recent weeks are Albanians from a safe country and who are not in need of, of refuge or asylum. And it's absolutely vital that we take action and bring an end to this and stop these criminal gangs who are ruthless and do not care if they are risking lives in the pursuit of their illegal crime. Do you dispute the figures that, that she provided us? We know that there is a, a particular problem with Albanians travelling across in recent weeks, but the figure that she quoted, 80% of those who reach the UK on these small boats are actually granted asylum. Well, we know that our system in the UK is in need of reform and the Prime Minister yesterday set out his five-point plan for tackling that, which included Sorry, I just wanted to press addressing you on that actual figure, though. Is, is that a, as far as you understand it, is that, is that a, a correct representation of the facts, that 80% of those who are coming across on the small boats are eventually granted asylum? Well, we know that once people are in the UK, it is extremely difficult uh, to do anything but for the majority of people to stay in the UK. And that is why it is such a strong magnet for people to come in through illegal routes and try to get to Britain. That's why we have to be uh, very, very clear that illegal immigration is not acceptable, that we but do if have... But we do, are, if, if I oh, can finish, but sorry. we do we do have resettlement schemes that we operate with the United Nations... Uh, where we bring people directly from conflict areas. Um, there are over 100 million people displaced around the globe. The right way to deal with refugee and asylum is to make sure that we have the systems and processes and support in place to help people. We do that. As the Prime Minister said yesterday, more humanitarian visas have been issued than since the Second World War. We are a generous country, but this is about 
illegal organized crime. And if we want to help people who are in need of assistance, they should not be taking this incredibly dangerous crossing. Um, we've seen lives lost again today. We've got to bring it to an end. But the, their point is, of course, that, that it, you say that they are illegal, but if 80% of them are granted asylum in the UK, it shows that they had a, a valid case, which therefore means that they are not illegal. They had a valid case for asylum, and they would argue that because there aren't the safe routes that they're able to use, they've been forced to take this action. The, uh, the argument of many charities is anyone... if the British government had more safe routes, then they wouldn't have to get on the small boats. There are safe routes of entry. Uh, we have issued, as the UK, more humanitarian visas than since the Second World War. There are safe passage routes. There are applications for work visas, which hundreds of thousands of people take. There are education visas. There are family reunion visas that you can apply in the UK from a room and a computer in the UK. So no family member needs to get into a boat or be in the hands of illegal immigration. Illegal entry to the UK is a crime. It is not the way to come uh, to the UK. The UK does have resettlement and asylum programmes. It does give a tremendous amount of support around the globe, as well as to people who settle here in the UK. And it's absolutely vital that those two issues are not confused. To do so just drives up more illegal immigration. We need to tackle this at source and recognise this for the illegal activity that it is. There are safe and legal routes to come to the UK and people must take those. They must not risk their lives or indeed lose their lives in the wintry sea in the Channel.